If someone dropped a penny on the floor and they spent an evening searching for such a penny, wouldn't that technically make them a night crawler? All right, welcome back, fellow soupies. Uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you in the face with another Blu-ray review. This week I'm hitting some of that Nightcrawler. It's a real good movie. Nightcrawler is directed by Dan Gilroy and it stars Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal plays a nightcrawler, which are people with video cameras who go out and film breaking stories and turn in the footage to new studios so they can lay it over their story. This is easily in my top 10 films of 2014. It's one of the most expertly directed and well-written films I saw all year. Nightcrawler is, is written and directed by Dan Gilroy, and the direction and writing is done in such a fashion that it feels like it's trying to manipulate your emotions, and I think it's purposefully done that way. Because the film is about a guy who is so adept at human emotions that he can manipulate them so well. And I feel that the film's writing, direction, and its score, or done by John Newton Howard, is a direct reflection of that. Jake Gyllenhaal plays the lead, and he is one of the creepiest sociopathic people we've seen in films since Patrick Bateman. And I stand by that. Jake Gyllenhaal is incredible. I think he was completely snubbed for his Oscar. This is just an incredible film that I think didn't get enough love. Also, uh, I'm, I'm blanking on the name currently, but the guy who played Louis Bloom's partner in crime didn't get enough credit. He did an excellent job, and so did Rene Russo. There's one dinner scene. That one scene alone is worth watching this film. Uh, so, so you, you're gonna... You got a, you got a slipcover, you got some nice embossing here. You got your Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. You got the back here. I'm gonna throw that on the floor. Woohoo! And then, uh... <clears throat> and then... You open her up, and you got... You got your digital download code. Here you go. Hold on. Focus. 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 Good. Good. If, if that didn't focus, uh, it'll be in the description box. And then you got your DVD and you got your Blu-ray. There's no inside artwork, just pretty blank. But, you do got an incredible film here. Uh, the picture quality is, is incredible. The Opening is completely just images of Los Angeles, and Los Angeles has never looked better. It still looks seedy and disgusting, and it's not a place I'd ever want to go, but it still looks tremendous. The audio quality, there, there are a few points when it gets a little, when it gets a little fuzzy. It's not particularly noticeable unless you're looking for it, but it's there. The special features on here are, are actually pretty decent. You got a, there's a short little feature right on there that that has two actual night crawlers who were consultants on the film. And I think, I think that was by far the most interesting special feature on here. There's also a commentary with director slash writer Dan Gilroy, producer Tony Gilroy, and editor John Gilroy. I definitely recommend that you pick this up. It looks incredible on Blu-ray, it sounds pretty good, and the special features aren't bad. But this is a film that needs to be seen by more people, and I hope to see it get more appreciation. Uh, that's gonna do it for... What? Bet on my shelf. All right, so that's going to do it for this week's Blu-ray review of Nightcrawler. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check out my last couple of videos. There's only three of them. It shouldn't take that much time. Um, I, hope you'll, I hope you'll check out my website for uh, the latest movie reviews. Maybe some movie news. You don't know. You have to go and check. Uh, trailer reviews. Uh, basically everything I talk. I just do movies there. You know what I'm saying? And I did a full uh, written review of Nightcrawler on there if you want to check that as well. But thank you for watching, guys, and subscribe!